The basic parts of the PCB shaker are printed on a 3D printer. Now, let's assemble these parts together. Insert the bearings into the cam link rod. In this setup, we have a Arduino Nano board connected to a DRV8825 stepper motor driver. The rotary encoder with push button is connected to the Arduino Nano board. We then connect the stepper motor to the board. The stepper motor is locked into position inside the box housing. Then we attach the cam wheel to the stepper motor. Next we attach the LCD to the box enclosure. Then we fix the rotary encoder to the housing with a nut. We now connect the power supply wires to the board. The voltage input is 12 volts, which is needed for the stepper motor. We are using a regulator to convert to 5 volts, which is needed for Arduino board. Let's connect the USB cable to connect the Arduino board to the computer. Then the flash the firmware which we have programmed to make the stepper to move so that we get the rocking motion. Now let's test the setup.
The box cover with the rocker arm is now screwed into place. The cam link rod is connected to the cam wheel. Then we fix the rocker base to the cam link rod. The rocker base is now attached to the rocker arm with an axle. We glue into place the L clamps to hold the PCB etch and tray. Now let's see how we can draw the circuit on a PCB so that we can etch with the PCB shaker. To do this, we are going to use Easy EDA tool. First we are going to draw the schematics of the circuit that we want to etch. Once schematic is drawn, then we have to select, design, and select, convert the schematic to PCB. Now rearrange the components on the PCB layout and route the PCB. You can use the auto route feature for this. Route only the bottom layer. Once the auto routing is complete, then you can choose to generate the CAM Gerber files. Now we need to convert the Gerber files to a NC plotter output. This is needed since we need to instruct the mini CNC machine to plot the PCB layout. For this we use the tool flat cam. We open the bottom layer CNC Gerber file. Once we open it we need to set the origin of the plot, for this we use a pad as a reference marker. We select the paint tool to generate the plotter NC file. Here you can set the thickness of the nib of the permanent marker pen. Now click Generate Geometry. Click Generate CNC Object. Now we can see that the plotter paths are drawn by flat cam, starting from the reference origin we had set. Now save the NC plot output.
Now open Candle Gerber software to plot the PCB with the help of a mini CNC machine. The PCB can be plotted with a permanent marker, using candle software and mini CNC machine, with the help of a pen attachment. In the next video, we will learn in detail the concepts on how to develop the PCB shaker electronics, and how to develop the firmware.